So in this video, we're gonna do a quick follow-up to the MCP videos, where I'm gonna show you a repository that aggregates all these different community-made MCP servers. It's really cool, let's go. Okay, so this repository is called Wong Two Awesome MCP Servers. At the top, it has all of the featured MCP servers that came when MCP was released. We already installed the file system. Check out my other video on installing the file system. We also have already installed Puppeteer and Brave Search. Also a video on installing that. But today, let's look at the community servers that have been made by all these wonderful individuals. Some really cool ones that caught my eyes, being able to connect OpenAI via its API. I also like the Obsidian one. This looks like a very useful MCP server that I think we're going to download right now. Fetch YouTube sub subtitles. I actually want to just grab all of my previous subtitles and then train Claude how to talk like me. Integration with... Notion chat completion APIs like Perplexity, Grok, XAI, OpenAI, and more. So that looks really helpful. Playwright's another great web scraping tool. Perplexity looks interesting as well. Oh, this is super meta. This is an MCP server for installing other MCP servers. Install it and you can ask Claude to install MCP servers hosted in NPM or PyPy. All right, so let's just start that. Let's make sure we have UV installed. Okay, so to install UV on Mac, we just do brew install UV. And as you remember, we just take from here. Let's just start with a fresh Claude desktop config. Okay, so we're saving this. Let's open up Claude. And we should see our new tool in here. Okay, so we see two tools. Let's just test it out by trying to use it directly by installing another MCP server. Usually you should do a little bit more research when installing open source GitHub projects where you don't even know the authors, but let's just keep going. So let's go to the YouTube one now. So let's go back to the one we downloaded before, the MCP installer. And let's just look at the example prompts. Wow, this is perfect. Honestly, I didn't even realize. So it actually has a perfect prompt to do what we want to do. So I'm just going to copy their example prompt. Let's just paste it and see what happens. Allow for this chat. It's expecting me to have this file installed. Okay, so the example command that the MCP server installer gave us didn't work. But when I just followed the second command of just giving it the repo I wanted, it seems to have worked. So let's see. I'll help you install the MCP server from the package YouTube. The MCP server has been installed. You'll need to restart the app for the changes to take effect. Okay, so let's quit Claude and go back into it and see if we have more than two tools. We now see three. We see the YouTube URL. Okay. And if we go back to VS Code, we see that the MCP YouTube thing has now been installed. So I'm going to add the file system back to my computer. So now so let's try and download a few subtitles from my previous YouTube videos to a folder on my desktop because I actually need to do that. So here's a prompt. Please download the following subtitles to the folder you have access to. Save each subtitle as an MD file. Subtitles to be downloaded. So we want to try and have it download three separate subtitle files from YouTube to a folder on my desktop and save them all separate files. So let's see if it works. So we're going to give it access to the YouTube subtitle downloader. Just to show you while it's working, we go to the folder on my desktop. It's still empty. It says it's done. Let's go to that folder now. And this, I can already tell it's wrong. So it looks to me that I went to every video, looked at the subtitles and made a summary of that video. I wanted to take the whole text and give me like a script. So it's a fail, but it could be on me for not prompting it correctly. Let's just see if I could prompt it better and I'll do a better job. Okay, so after some prompting, we were able to get the full transcripts downloaded. So see, here you see it. These are the first three it made, which wasn't the transcripts. Then here's two of the transcripts and here's a combined two transcripts. And the reason there's two here is because it wasn't able to fit it all into one file because of a message limit problem. So it made it to two separate transcripts. That's fine. I'll be able to combine them later and do more with this. So I plan on making a short MCP follow-up video to show you all these great MCP tools created by the community. And they all ended up working, but what did we learn? You should always test, you should always verify that it works. We also learned that you have to be very specific with your prompt. Even though we took prompts that came from the documentation for these MCP servers, they didn't work as expected. Not everything worked on the first time, but everything did work. So I hope you take a look at this MCP server repository. It's really cool. It's constantly being updated. Keep in mind that I don't know who made all of these different servers. You always should be careful and you should always do your due diligence, test things out. So in my next few videos, I want to talk about the new OpenAI announcements, specifically O1 Preview turning into O1, O1 Pro Mode, and most importantly, the newest update, RFT, announced by OpenAI. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned. See you soon.